Let's channel our inner Keanu Reeves and try to pull off some insane gun foo. And yes, that's actually what it's called according to the creators of John Wick, which is who we're going to be building today. Because this is D&D Builds, where we have an outlet to make all sorts of ridiculous Dungeons & Dragons characters and stop driving the people in our lives insane with them. John Wick knows some crazy martial arts and has some insane accuracy with firearms. So we're gonna figure out how to pull that off, but first things first, we gotta pick a race. That's pretty easy, John Wick is a fairly normal human, but he's a little different in some ways, so we're gonna choose a variant human. This allows you to choose another language, so we're gonna grab deep speech, because that sounds like something that would be fitting for this crazy world of assassins. It also gives you one skill proficiency, so we're gonna grab perception, because that's useful for any campaign, and John Wick is fairly aware of its surroundings and it allows you to choose one feat. We are focusing on the fact that this is gun foo, so we're going to grab the feat gunner. This feat increases your dexterity by one point, gives you proficiency with firearms, which is very hard to come by, and when you're using those firearms, you can ignore the loading property, and finally, whenever you're within five feet of a hostile creature, using a ranged weapon doesn't impose disadvantage. When it comes to a background, he is part of this sort of criminal underworld, so we're going to grab the criminal background. It allows us to choose a criminal specialty and we're gonna grab hired killer. And it even has a unique feature called criminal contact, which very much fits in the world of John Wick. Additionally, this gives us skill proficiency in deception and stealth, as well as one type of gaming set and some thieves tools. When it comes to our stats, we're gonna have a very focused build, maxing out dexterity, constitution, and wisdom and dumping the rest. That brings all of them to 15 and then our gunner feat boosts our dexterity by one point. And then we have one point left to throw into two different skills with our human variant choice, so we're going to boost up our constitution and our wisdom, bringing all three of our main stats to 16. Then we gotta jump into a starting class, and considering we need to pull off some gun foo, it should be no surprise that we're gonna be diving into monk. At first level of monk, you get access to simple weapons and short swords, you get saving throws and strength and dexterity, and you get to choose two skills. We're gonna keep those two skills fairly physical and just grab acrobatics and athletics. Then at first level of monk, you get unarmored defense, and this this is actually very practical since John Wick often goes around in just a suit, even if it is a very particularly fancy and well-tailored suit made with very special materials, but he can very easily fight without any sort of body armor, so unarmored defense is perfect. And this unarmored defense makes it so your armor class equals 10 plus your dexterity modifier plus your wisdom modifier. Also at first level you get access to martial arts. This allows you to use your dexterity instead of strength for attack and damage rolls when doing unarmed strikes, but this also applies to any sort of monk weapon that you would have access to. When you make an unarmed strike, you can now roll a d4 for the damage, and that levels up as you level up in monk. And finally, when you use the attack action on your turn, you can make an additional unarmed strike as a bonus action. Then at second level of monk, you get access to ki, and this is just the energy coursing throughout your body, and you now have ki points equal to your level in monk. You can spend a ki point to use flurry of blows, so instead of just making one attack as a bonus action, you can now make two attacks using your unarmed attacks. You can also spend a key point to use either patient defense, giving you the dodge action as a bonus action, or step of the wind, allowing you to take the disengage or dash action as a bonus action, and your jump distance is doubled for the turn. Finally, at second level, you get access to unarmored movement, so your speed is increased by 10 feet while you're not wearing armor, and that speed boost increases as you level up in Monk as well. And finally, at second level of Monk, you also get the optional feat dedicated weapon, allowing you to make any weapon that you're proficient with that doesn't have the heavy or special properties into a monk weapon for the purpose of any sort of monk related stuff. So since we happen to be proficient with guns, we can make that one of our dedicated weapons. Then at third level of monk, we get access to deflect missiles, allowing you to dodge or even catch bullets, but that's a different Keanu Reeves movie. You have access to the optional feature key fueled attack, so you can spend one key point to make one attack as your bonus action, either with an unarmed strike or with your monk weapons, just giving you some additional flexibility with your bonus action. And then finally at third level, you get access to a monastic tradition, otherwise known as a monk subclass. And we're really going to be focusing on having unreasonably awesome accuracy and boosting up our kung fu with our gun attacks. So we're going to be jumping into the Kensai monk. 
when you choose the Kensai subclass, you get access to Path of the Kensai. So you can choose two weapons to be your Kensai weapons, one melee weapon and one ranged weapon. We usually just see John Wick using either a knife or a gun, so we're going to make those two weapons our Kensai weapons. You can choose additional weapons when you reach 6th, 11th, and 17th level in this class, but those weapons give you some additional bonuses, like Agile Parry. So when you make an unarmed strike as part of your attack action on your turn and you're holding one of your Kensai weapons, you can use it to defend yourself if it's a melee weapon, giving you a plus two bonus to your armor class until the start of your next turn. And the additional bonus you get from Path of the Kensai is Kensai Shot. So now you can use your bonus action on your turn to make your ranged attacks a bit more deadly. When you do so, any target you hit with a ranged attack using a Kensai weapon takes an extra 1d4 of damage, which is just a nice little way to boost up your pistol damage. The last benefit you get from choosing the subclass is Way of the Brush, giving you proficiency with calligrapher supplies or painter supplies, which I guess seems very zen and John Wick style, but it doesn't really apply that much. Then at fourth level of Punk, we get an ability score improvement, so we're just going to go ahead and boost up our dexterity by two points, bringing it to 18, and you get access to slow fall, reducing any fall damage you might have to worry about, which definitely helps because there's a few times where John Wick really takes a fall. There's also an additional optional feature called quickened healing. So you can use an action to spend two key points and roll your martial arts die, and you regain a number of hit points equal to the number rolled plus your proficiency bonus. This is going to be very helpful because John Wick takes a hell of a beating and he needs some ability to heal up. Then at fifth level of Monk, your martial arts die gets boosted from a 1d4 to a 1d6. You get access to Stunning Strike, which you can think of as any of the times that John Wick just knocks somebody out, or he puts them in a chokehold and puts them to sleep. And of course, at fifth level, you get access to Extra Attack, which is important for any sort of martial class. Finally, you get one more optional feature, and it's really going to help as far as our insane accuracy that we need to be able to pull off as John Wick and it's called Focused Aim. So when you miss with an attack roll, you can spend one to three key points to increase your attack roll by two for each one of those key points spent, possibly turning a miss into a hit. So boosting your overall accuracy by a possible six points is a little bit overpowered as far as accuracy goes, but you're John Wick, it's not about playing fair. Then at sixth level of Monk, your unarmored movement gets boosted from 10 feet to 15 feet and you get key empowered strikes. So now your unarmed strikes are counted as magical, which really helps for overcoming certain enemy resistances. Additionally, you get access to another feature from being a Kensai, one with the blade. This gives you two features, magic Kensai weapons. So now your attacks with your Kensai weapons also count as magical, which is also really gonna help for overcoming any resistances that your enemies have. And you get access to deft strike. So when you hit a target with a Kensai weapon, you can spend one key point to cause that weapon to deal extra damage equal to your martial arts style but you can only use this once on each of your turns. So that means your opening shot between Way of the Kensai and Death Strike can deal 1d4 plus the actual weapon damage plus a roll of your martial arts dice plus your dexterity modifier. So that's a pretty good initial shot, which you're going to be super accurate with. Then at 7th level of Monk, you get access to Evasion. So whenever you have to make a deck save, you automatically take half damage. And if you succeed on that save, you take zero damage, which is really going to help your survivability. Then you also get Stillness of Mind. So you can use an action to end one effect on yourself that's causing you to be charmed or frightened. Then at 8th level of Monk, you get access to another ability score improvement. So we're just going to go ahead and max out our dexterity, bringing it to 20. And then at 9th level, level of monk, you get another boost to your unarmored movement, but not in speed. Now you can run up walls and across liquid, which definitely doesn't really relate to being John Wick, but it might relate to a couple other Keanu Reeves movies. Then at 10th level of Monk, the unarmored movement speed gets boosted from 15 feet to 20 feet, and you get access to purity of body, making you immune to disease and poison. Then at 11th level of Monk, your martial arts die gets boosted from a 1d6 to a 1d8, and you get another feature from Way of the Kensai, Sharpen the Blade. So now you can use a bonus action to spend up to three key points to grant one of your Kensai weapons 
bonus to the attack and damage rolls you deal with it. The bonus equals the number of key points you spent, and that bonus lasts for one minute or until you use the feature again. This feature has no effect on any sort of magic weapons, but that means that you can use this early in a fight, and now your guns have a plus three to accuracy and can have another plus six if you use that optional feature with focused aim, and the additional damage between one with the blade, sharpen the blade, and Kensai shot is really starting to add up. Then at 12th level of bunk, you get access to another ability score improvement, so we're gonna boost up our wisdom, which really just helps our effectiveness when it comes to stunning strikes or our armor class. And then at 13th level, you get access to tongue of the sun and moon, making you able to understand and speak pretty much all languages. And then at 14th level of monk, you get a boost to your unarmored movement, bringing it from a bonus 20 feet to 25 feet, and you get access to diamond soul, granting you proficiency in absolutely all saving throws, which is pretty powerful to have. And whenever you make a saving throw and fail, you can spend one key point to re-roll it. Then at 15th level of monk, you get access to timeless body. And this is super helpful because counter Reeves essentially doesn't age and and that's pretty much the same thing as what this does. At 16th level of Monk, you get access to another ability score improvement, and I was just gonna go ahead and boost up our wisdom again, which will help our armor class, but that's a little boring. So instead, I'm gonna take the feat Sharpshooter. This allows us to take a minus five to our accuracy, but considering all the other boosts we have to our accuracy, that's gonna be more than okay, because by sacrificing that minus five, we get a plus 10 to the damage with ranged weapons. There's also an additional feature from this feat that allows us to attack at long range without disadvantage. And we especially aren't gonna have to worry about that accuracy because at 17th level of Monk, our martial arts die gets boosted from 1d8 to 1d10, and we get the very important feature from being a Kensai, unerring accuracy. So if that minus five winds up hurting you, even though you can boost it up by plus six with your focused aim and another plus three from your sharpen the blade, you can take any attack that you miss and just re-roll it. You can only use this once per turn, but it's still pretty damn powerful. Now, I know John Wick is pretty good at stealth for the most part, but 18th level of Monk essentially allows him to become invisible, and that seems a little over the top. So instead of jumping into 18th level of Monk, we're gonna do a multi-class and go ahead and jump into Fighter. At first level of Fighter, you get to choose a fighting style. And in case our accuracy wasn't good enough already, we're gonna take the fighting style, Archery, giving us a plus two to our attack rolls, otherwise known as our accuracy, on top of everything else, as long as we're doing a ranged weapon attack. Additionally, at first level of Fighter, we get access to Second Wind. So as a bonus action, you can regain hit points equal to 1d10 plus your fighter level once per short or long rest. Then at second level of Fighter, you get access to Action Surge. So you can take two actions in a single turn, but you can only use this also once every short or long rest. But that means you can make two attacks as your normal action, two attacks with your action surge, and you can use Flurry of Blows to make two more attacks, bringing you to a total of six attacks. Then at third level of fighter and 20th level overall, we get to choose a fighter subclass, otherwise known as a martial archetype. And considering how tactical John Wick manages to be, we're gonna grab Battlemaster. This gives us access to combat superiority. So you can learn three special maneuvers, which will most likely use your superiority dice, which at this level is a pool of D8s. You only have four of them to spend, but we're gonna be using these on our maneuvers, which the three that we're gonna learn are disarming attack, because that seems like something John Wick would definitely be able to pull off. Trip attack, because that's also something very good for John Wick, because bringing somebody to the ground really gives you advantage on any melee attacks. And then finally, boosting our accuracy, one more time, we're gonna grab precision attack. So when you make a weapon attack roll against a creature, you can expend one superiority dice, which is a D8 in this situation, and you can add that to the attack roll. So it's pretty much impossible for you to miss at this point. You can re-roll a miss if you need to, you can add bonuses to it with your focused aim or sharpen the blade, and just all around, it's very unlikely you're ever gonna miss a shot. The very last feature you get from this overall build is Student of War, which just gives you proficiency with a bit of artisan tools, just add some flavor to your overall build. With that, we have a full-on gun food level monk that has absolutely insane accuracy and pretty much guaranteed to never miss if you really want him to hit, and I think it really pulls off the full John Wick style. Let me know what you think about this build in the comments down below, or if you have any other builds you want to 
to see in the future, let me know down there as well. If you want access to the character sheet for this build or any of my other builds, feel free to check out my Patreon linked in the description down below. Just like the especially awesome Eagle Board, Mikey Zapita, Z13, Bad in Person, Viral Naravar, Caleb Roan, Yaksha Senpai, The Dino 21, Kilon, and Zalvador. Or going above and beyond that is my Dungeon Master level patrons that I actually play D&D with. Demiurge, Connor Kitchen, Daniel Galvin, Michael, Eric Wade, Games Take, Tristan Bennett, Benjamin, Devin Happy, Heyo, and Kilo Kilo. If you made it all the way to the end of this video, let me know by hitting that like button, and I'll be here hoping to roll at least three nat 20s in your next D&D session, especially if you want to have absolutely insane accuracy, pull off some gun foo, and play as Keanu Reeves, or more specifically, John Wick in Dungeons and Dragons.